if for whatever reason that you recalibrate a sensor and it just is not working, uh, chances are that the sensor is, is uh, dead or it's uh, you know, just not going to be working anymore. The advantage of the Q5B5 sensor is that it has a replaceable sensor board. So what this video is going to be right now, I'm going to show you how to replace that. So all you have to do is remove the front screws from the front plate. What we need to do is we're going to kill power and all I'm going to do is just remove that power terminal block. The sensor board is secured with two screws. We have to remove them. And the sensor board comes right off. Make sure you put that off to the side so you don't uh, get them mixed up. Take your new sensor board and secure it in there. Make sure that the header pins are lined up with the sockets and press down. Put the screws back in. And the sensor has been replaced. Put power back to it. And we're going to let it go through its warm-up. The, the nice thing about the sensor replacement board is if you're replacing, this for instance is a CO sensor, you know, putting a CO board right back in it, you should not have to calibrate this again. However, we do recommend that it's bump test just to make sure. And I have a 50 parts per million uh, canister of gas, 0.5 liter per minute regulator, the calibration adapter and tubing. So what we're going to do is just put the calibration adapter back on there. We're going to turn the gas on and we're just going to wait and watch this go. At 25 parts per million, the first relay should turn on. And at 50 parts per million, the second relay should turn on. Now one thing to remember is with your uh, bump gas, uh, there is a plus or minus 2% error rate on there. So this might not get right up to the 50 parts per million, it might be at 49. So we've, uh, we've let that run now, we're at 49 parts per million, that's within our spec of the gas. Uh, the sensor board works, so now all we have to do is just put the screw covers back, screws back in the cover, secure it, and then uh, in our maintenance log record that we had to replace the sensor. So thanks for watching our video. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to uh, contact contact us at ACI Tech Support or contact us via email at workaci.com. Thanks for watching our video.